Well, hello everyone. It is Tanisha Burke and I am going to share with you a tip that's going to help you with your follow-ups. We all know that the fortune is in the follow-ups. So this is a little tip that I use to help me keep in contact with everyone that I've, I've reached out to or sent videos to, because think about this, many of you have participated in these boot camps, and over the course of those 30 days, you have generated hundreds of leads. But guess what? If you don't follow up with those leads, how are you going to grow your business? Remember, the goal of boot camp is to learn how to generate leads. But once you generate those leads, you need to now take each lead through the PS3. You've piqued their interest already, but now you have to show the plan and get them on a three-way call. So here's how I use my calendar. Now I'm one of those people, yes, I have a paper calendar, but primarily I use my cell phone calendar because my cell phone is always, always with me. So I'm gonna share it with you. So we all have, most of us have Gmail accounts, right? So I'm gonna show you the screen here, my iPhone. And I'm going to show you how to add your Gmail calendar to your cell phone calendar. So if I click on calendar and on the bottom, I'm going to click on calendars right on the bottom center. And you see you have the option here to add calendar. So you would give that calendar a name and then you're going to um, add in whichever calendar it is. So let's say I have Mrs. A.W. Burke at AOL.com. And so you see now that calendar has been added right here right now i'm not using that calendar so i'm going to delete it because i don't want to mess up my calendar but i use lux platinum travel at gmail as you can see on the top so now anything that goes on that calendar is here now here's how i work this let's say so anyone that i send preview videos to i am going to immediately add them to this calendar to follow up. So let's say I've done a post this morning, an income post about the opportunity. Someone private messages me and says that they're interested. And let's say tonight, for example, I respond back and I send them the two preview videos. I am going to now add them to my calendar to, sign, to follow up. So let's say it's John Smith. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put follow up John Smith. And if I just sent John Smith the video right now, I might put to follow up with him, I don't know, let's say 6.30. Where did I put it? <laughs> now I can't find it. I missed what day I put it on. Oh boy, I'm gonna have a John Smith somewhere on my calendar. Let's do that again. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna put follow up John Smith. So here we go. Follow up John Smith at 630. So again, anybody that I send videos to, I immediately, step two, is to come to my phone calendar and put them on here to follow up. Even if they have not told me when they're gonna watch the videos, it doesn't matter when they tell me they're gonna watch the videos, I'm going to follow up them regardless. Now let's say 6.30 p.m. Um, comes tonight and I go and I private message John Smith and I say, hey, John, you know, after watching the videos, is this something that you're interested in learning more about? And let's say John Smith doesn't respond. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to edit this and I'm just going to change the date to the 17th. So that now tomorrow, John Smith is on my calendar for me to follow up with him on the 17th. Now let's say I follow up with John tomorrow on the 17th and we schedule the three-way call. 
right? And he schedules a three-way call for me for Sunday at 2 p.m. Well, I'm now going to change this appointment and make it for Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. And I'm now going to say it's a three-way call. So now on my Sunday, I know that I have to have a three-way call with John at 2 p.m. So now I have the three-way call with John and John loves the opportunity, but John doesn't have his $200 right now. And he also has a lot going on and he might say, you know what? Um, can you follow up with me next month? I'm not ready right now. I really don't have the money. Or I might even say to John on a three-way call, John, if you had $200 right now, is there anything that would stop you from joining a business? And he says, absolutely not. I love this opportunity. And then I say, John, are you ready to get started tonight? Well, no, Tanisha, I, don't, I really don't have the money right now. Okay, John, when will you be ready with your $200 to get started? Well, I'll be ready... Um, give me a month, give me a month, you know, call me the middle of next month um, and I should be ready. And then, so now I'm just going to change this appointment to November, right? And I might change it, John, how about November 13th? That's a Friday. And uh, would that work for you? Yeah, that works for me. Great. What time on November 13th? Well, I get home at five o'clock. So how about six o'clock, John? That works perfect. And so now I'm going to change this appointment to sign up John. Sign up John Smith, right? So that is how I keep up with all of my appoint all of my follow-ups. Anyone that I send a video to, they immediately will get added to my cell phone calendar. And I just keep moving that appointment, moving that appointment until they either give me a hard no that they're not interested or, you know, they sign up. Even if I speak to John and he says, you know what, I'm not interested, um, but thanks for reaching out. Guess what? I might add John to my calendar for three months from now, and I might change the appointment to say, engage, right? And I might not even put a date on it you know, a specific time. I might just, if I have a time blocked on my calendar for um, engaging, I might do that. So I might change it to December 1st engage John Smith, right? And a lot of times because I'm working many social media platforms, I may put Facebook so that I know it's John Smith from Facebook or I might put LinkedIn or I might put Instagram or, you know, whatever social media platform that John Smith is on, I'll just make myself a little note here. And so on that day, I'll just go, I'll say, oh, I got to engage with John Smith. So that means I'm going to go on his social media page and I might like or comment or I might private message him just to say, hey, how you doing? Something like that, just to remind me to keep that engagement going. Because if you're prospecting 20, 30, 40, 50 people a day, there's no way you're going to be able to keep up with everyone. But if they're on your calendar, your calendar will be jam packed with income producing activities that you need to do um, to keep up with your with your prospects. The other thing that you can do, like for example, um, let's say like prospecting um, or let's say follow up. Let's say you have a certain day, part of your DMO is to do follow ups. And let's say um, from three to 11, I'm sorry, from three to four, is going to be, where did I want to do that? Uh, let's do this. Let's do the 19th and we're going to say on the 19th follow-ups. So 
So every day, and let's say I repeat this. And I say that every day from three to four, I'm gonna do follow-ups. That's my time to follow up. So let's say I send someone a video. Um, I may just come here now and under the notes section, put the person of the name, the name of the person that I'm gonna follow up with, right? And then I might send another video to Mary Jones, right? So now, and then I'm gonna save for this event only. So now, on Monday, October 19th, during the time that I have blocked to do my follow-ups, I just come right here and I see who I have to follow up with. And again, if you're working with multiple social media platforms, um, you know, make yourself a note so that you know where you, uh, you know, where you connected with this prospect, right? And so again, and then I can do the same thing for here. Right, and I again, I'm just going to edit that particular appointment and add in the notes who I'm following up with. So that is how I. That is what I use to um, keep in touch with everybody that I'm, I'm meeting. Because what is the point of getting all of these leads if you're not taking each of those leads and working them through the PS3 system? So I hope this was helpful. Let's have an amazing, amazing, prosperous uh, year. Let's finish out the year with a bang. So thank you all and have a great one.